This is Karin Gauma. She is considered one of the top Bouvier groomers in Holland. Her nickname is Scissor Hands. Because we all need to brush and comb our pets, we asked her if we are doing it the right way. The daily care of a Bouvier's coat will contain a lot of brushing. And we will demonstrate to you today how the easiest way to brush a coat using a slicker brush. With the slicker, we comb the hairs loose. It's mostly used to loosen up the ends of the hair. This way, the ends are loose and we can start with a large comb with long teeth. We start on the back using the comb deeply. Every time taking a part forward. This way we can see the coat and we can see the skin. So we can see fleas, ticks, etc. This way we brush the coat all the way up to the head. For the legs, again, we use the slicker to loosen up the long ends and make our job a lot easier. Combing legs, we start at the feet. Work our way up. The knees are places where we get a lot of tangles. So always be feel with the fingertips on the knees if there's matting or tangles. The loins always pull the skin forward. Then comb the loins. Otherwise, you will go over the tails. Sit. A front leg. Again, we brush it up. Don't forget the armpits. The armpits and the breast. For the beard. We let the dog look up. We take the lower part of the chin and jaw lines. And the sides. Use one hand to cut, pull some hair up. Another part that needs special attention is the parts behind the ears. Pull the ear up so the skin is tight. Inside the ear, a dog has hair, which we have to get out because it's a place where bacteria will grow and we don't want to get an ear infection on the dog. So the hairs that come out of the ear we can pull out with our fingers. Only the outside of the ear we can clean. The rest is for the veterinarian. And then we come to the last part. Those are the teeth. Always check the teeth for plague. If it looks clean, you don't have to do anything. Otherwise, you can remove Mostly with your nails. Or a toothbrush with a doggy toothpaste. And check the vulva. This is a place where a lot of dirt, urine, will stay. A lot of tangles will stay. Around the vulva, we can cut the little 
tangles away using small scissors. Because you never want any poo rests to contain in the hair. We can clip away the hair around the anus downwards. The feet. Hairs will grow between the toes and the slippery mechanism of a dog is the soles. So you can imagine that hairs between the soles will do no good. So we got those away, but we only cut the hair that comes from between the toes. Never deeper. Now you can run. Good girl. You're done for the day. Ho ho, wait a moment. Thank you very much, but seeing that, can you show us how you groom a bouvier for a show? No, not Uncle Fester, he is always good looking. Maybe one of your other tenants. That one, he looks like a real Casanova. Anyway, the rest of the dogs are waiting. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to groom a Bouvier who's going to show. And first of all, I'm going to trim down the flat part of his head and his ears with a clipper. I do that with a three millimeter head on. Don't forget the hair on the inside. This is all that I do with the clippers. Only the flat part of the head and the ears. And don't forget the inside of the ears to remove the long hairs. This part, and you always shave towards the sides. Never inside, because you will get the hairs inside the ear. The rest I will do by hand and scissors. Before we start snipping away, we get a quick lesson from old scissor hands on how to hold a pair of scissors correctly. Very important. Stick your thumb in the big hole, your ring finger in the other one, and the remaining fingers are wrapped around the curve. Here a quick glance at the scissors and see the curvy bit and this is how to do it. The next thing that I'm going to do is follow from the part that is done by the clippers by hand and make a smooth part. So I put the scissors flat on top of the head and cut the parts that stick out away.
Then I put up all the hairs and I go down from the head to the shoulders, following the line of the dog himself. Till the shoulders is done, I'm going to move on towards the tail. I put up all the hair. Good boy. Follow this procedure till all the back is flat out. When I reach the point that there's no more hair on the back, I will brush up the hair from the side till it's pointing over the back. So I put this hair up till I see what's pointing above to keep the square look in the bouvier. As natural, I do this on this side as well. And the starting of the tail, I groom along the same line of the back. Now I have beginning on the tail, an end on the back, and I can start grooming the sides of the dog. And naturally, the back part. The next part, following the back is the real back of the dog. I'm going to make a nice flat silhouette of the dog by cutting away the hair on the back. For that, I put the scissors slightly down, follow the line, to the side of the tail, Watch out for the delicate parts. I just keep grooming till this is one flat part. I make the skin tight so you never cut in the skin. The hairs from the side up come all straight to the back and all that's coming out I cut away. All to preserve the square parts of a bouvier. Square silhouette. That's what we want and that's what we're going to get. This is one side. From this part I put the hairs from the back of the leg up from the hocks up and I'm going to feel where its hock is and I'm going to go down towards that line When this part is in, I'm going to change scissors and I'm going to do the thing that I've shown you already before. I'm going to do the soles of the, foot, of the feet. But I changed scissors for that because there's always a lot of sand. 
Sand and dirt quickly dull your scissors, so for the feet we use a normal pair but held in the correct way for the best result. Kas. Voetje. And I'm going to brush up all the hairs on the lower part of the leg. When all the hair is standing out, I'm going to straight out the bottom part. But since I've done the foot at first, I've got a little bit of a guideline, so I know that where I'm heading. Going to do the side of the leg, I'm going to brush up all the hairs till it's standing out. And from the line that I've made on the back, I'm going to go down to the part at the foot that I've just done. And all that's sticking out I'm going to cut away. Just remember that the hair on the legs is always longer as the hair on the back of the dog. Just going down. And you will see that when I grow the hairs down, when the side is done, I'm going to do the front of the leg. The same story all over again. Pulling the hair down, wide out. From the loins, I start to cut the loose ends and follow slightly the model of the leg of the dog itself. To make a nice part going to the leg, I groom the loins towards the leg. And then going to the side of the dog. Just putting up all the hair again. Top part going down, trimming down smoothly all the loose ends that stick out. When I reach this part that the shoulder has to be done, I'm going to put up this head and from the side of the neck. Follow the lines, the side of the dog. All 
always cutting in the same direction as the hair is growing. The side of the dog is done. The first thing that I'm going to do is trimming down the line of his belly. For that, I comb it all down. Don't up, hold up your belly, boy. Feel where the actual chest is ending. I know that the elbows has to be inside, so this is the line that I'm going to follow up to the private parts. The inside of the leg has to be a straight line too. But always remember, when you groom a male, protect the balls. The end of the scissor is sharp and the males don't like it. When the leg on this side is done, I'm going to follow up, making this boy's cute behind look the same as this side. So, I pull the, comb the hairs all back. Put the scissors in. When the back part is flat, I'm going to follow up the same procedure towards this leg. Again, foot cast life put it down Again, I'm going to make a straight line down from the hock to the back of the foot. Making this boy stand on some beautiful massive legs. The rear end of the dog is done. Making this a beautiful flat behind, making straight hocks and enough hair that the judge can see his legs and not only hair. The next thing is grooming the tail. There's no typical standard yet for the tail, but since the Bouvier in Holland has a beautiful